The bane of every student's existence is procrastination. They struggle with getting things done, plan to start studying, doing homeworks and projects, but haven't actually done anything about it. Thus, long-term procrastination can cause us to lose motivation and disenchantment with our work, which in some cases can result in depression and even job loss. However, it is possible to overcome procrastination. Here are the 15 tips to overcome procrastination. Number 1. Clarify Priorities Lack of clarity on priorities is one of the main obstacles to productivity. People are prone to distraction and procrastination without this insight. Consider whether the new task is actually more urgent before continuing. Review your actions from the previous days by going back. Have a lot of your tasks been low priority? Check out your to-do list as well. Does one task in particular continue to be completed each day? Prioritizing your tasks will help you see which tasks are most essential, which is a good anti-procrastination technique. You can ensure that you aren't working on unimportant tasks when you have set clear priorities. You understand the importance of your work instead of feeling like you're wasting time at work. Number 2. Break down your task. Another effective method for overcoming procrastination is to divide larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. Many people realize that the reason they procrastinate is because they feel too overwhelmed to finish a difficult task. If you feel like this, take a step back and divide a large task into smaller steps when you're finding it difficult to begin. This will help the task appear less difficult and more doable. Moreover, to help you stay on track and meet your final deadline, you can also give yourself deadlines for the smaller tasks. Number 3. Modify how you view tasks The tendency to procrastinate is often brought on by feeling overburdened. Therefore, if you can alter the way you feel about those tasks, having a positive outlook on your tasks will help you complete them more quickly. Consider tasks an opportunity to learn and grow, rather than a burden or a chore. By approaching your work with a positive attitude, you will find it less intimidating and more likely to stick with your plan. Number 4. Stick to your schedule Whether you describe yourself as a person who has a difficult time sticking to a schedule, if not impossible, whether you're diligent, buy attractive planners, or make thorough to-do lists, at the end of the day, you always need to catch up. In any case, you will be able to tell if you believe time is money by the way you keep a schedule. When you have a strong sense of commitment to a timetable, you give significant importance to the timing and duration of activities. You need to be aware of the due date and the required number of hours for that work. Therefore, you should also make yourself a schedule if you want to work on your project every day. Because it may be so easy to lose track of the hours in a day, using a calendar, a diary, or sticky notes on your computer will serve as a reminder for you to finish what needs to be finished today. Number 5. Change your environment our productivity is impacted differently by various situations. Take a look around your workstation and room. Do they encourage you to pursue your goals or do they make you want to cuddle and rest? If the latter, you ought to think about changing up your workstation. In order to avoid procrastinating, try to eliminate any sources of distraction from your workspace, both digital and physical, in order to stay on task. You could take your iPhone, set it to do not disturb, and then tuck it away in a drawer where you'd have to get up to check it. On each of your devices, turn off the alerts and notifications. In other words, disconnect before you plug in and pay attention. Number 6. Create a detailed timeline with target deadline Setting deadlines is further advice for preventing procrastination. A lot of students are caught in the I'll do it eventually or tomorrow loop. To ensure that a project or assignment is finished on time, it's essential to establish a deadline. Try to finish your tasks and assignments a day or two beforehand. As a result, you will have more time to do things even if something unexpected occurs. Number 7. Commit to the decision 
The Latin word desidere, which means to eliminate all other options, including the option of doing nothing, is the source of the English term decision. Thus, making the decision to avoid procrastination and accomplish your objective is the first step you need to take. You will feel more emotionally invested in the accomplishment of your objective once you have demonstrated this level of commitment, as if you are making a promise to yourself. Number 8. Visualize the benefits of success. You can use visualization, a quick technique to develop a vivid mental picture of a future event. You can practice for the event beforehand by using visualization effectively, which will help you prepare. Additionally, you can hone the self-assurance necessary for effective performance by picturing achievement. You can improve all of these things by using visualization. This explains why many highly influential people use the strategy to achieve their goals and aspirations. Thus, visualizing the benefits of success will help you be motivated in completing your goal. Consider thinking of the advantages that could result from your aim being accomplished. Then, make a list of the advantages you'll experience once you finish the task at hand. And in order to keep yourself motivated, read the solution each day until you have finished it. Number 9. Have a support system. Asking a friend, family member, or trusted co-worker to act as your accountability partner is a helpful method if you're struggling to overcome procrastination on your own. It can be much simpler to stay on schedule and complete your assignment if you have specifically requested someone to hold you accountable. Because you'll have to report to someone at the end of the day to let them know how you fared. This helps you avoid putting off the chore throughout the day. Only some people will benefit from this strategy. Some people could find it excessively stressful to worry about disappointing someone if they don't accomplish their daily objectives. And that's alright. There are a lot of techniques that may suit them. Having someone check in on their development is beneficial for others, especially if you choose the proper supporter and motivator. That might be all some people require to end their procrastinating loop. It makes a difference to have someone there to support and encourage you. Others might gain significant change from having someone to monitor their development, especially if you choose the ideal support and inspiration source. This might help you end your procrastination loop. Number 10. Reward yourself. Rewards aren't always necessary, but they can be very helpful when you're trying to break old habits and establish new ones. Take note, small rewards have a big impact. It's important to recognize your accomplishments when you succeed in finishing a task. Your motivation and encouragement to work on your project will be maintained by this. Also, keep in mind that not all rewards have to be pricey or extravagant. Your preferred form of self-care, such as applying a face mask or meditating, enjoying a cup of tea or coffee, or taking a few minutes to unwind can be just as effective. Number 11. Practice Mindfulness it can initially be challenging to break the cycle of procrastination. Pay attention to your body's needs and provide for them, unless your body needs you to take a rest and stop working. Instead, take a quick stroll outside or a few short breaks. Before returning to your work, take advantage of the opportunity to relax and re-energize your brain in the open air and during the brief break. Number 12. Reduce your workload. When it comes to meeting deadlines for work and school, you sometimes have no choice. Avoid accepting any new commitments if you already have too much on your plate as a result of accepting a multitude of obligations. Start declining requests for work that doesn't fit with your mission and vision. In order to plan appropriately, be aware of when your calendar is getting too full and ask for assistance if you're feeling overwhelmed. Number 13. Bring your expectation down a level. For a procrastinator, striving for perfection is like kryptonite. And shocker, no one has ever achieved it. Instead, aspire to be good and good enough. We guarantee that if you don't put that pressure on yourself, it'll appear much more achievable, and you won't be as anxious to get started. And no, it's not acceptable to submit subpar work. Instead of putting a project on a pedestal and saying, I'll start when I'm ready to create a masterpiece. It helps to recognize that you can produce something good. Number 14. Get rid of catastrophizing. 
One of the main reasons individuals put off doing anything is that they catastrophize or make a big deal out of it. The underlying concept is that performing the activity will be unbearable, whether it is related to how difficult, tedious, or painful it will be to do it. In actuality, difficulties, dullness, and laborious work will not cause you to die or become ill. Contrarily, procrastination is linked to stress. Consider the stress you experience when you put off making a call you know you should make. Maintaining perspective can help you to say, sure, this is not my favorite task, but I can complete it. And lastly, schedule in breaks throughout your day. It is important to take actual breaks in order to maintain high levels of productivity. To begin, set a time limit for your break. Breaks should be incorporated into your daily schedule in order to accomplish this. Then, when the time comes, you know you're free to stop working and relax. Second, when taking a break, avoid doing anything that will take more than a couple of minutes. So it's best not to waste your break watching Netflix or surfing the internet. This would be a slippery slope back into those bad habits. It's challenging to break the habit of procrastinating. After all, if it were easy, procrastination among students wouldn't be a habitual occurrence for 80% to 95% of them. Given the abundance of enjoyable and amusing distractions in our immediate environment, the impulse to put things off might be overwhelming. Although you might not be able to prevent procrastination completely, you can still help yourself by becoming aware of your procrastination triggers and learning effective ways to stop doing it. You might discover it is simpler to put your nose to the grindstone and begin those crucial activities by putting these strategies into practice. Therefore, stop the bad routine of constantly telling yourself, I'll do it tomorrow, and then when tomorrow comes, you feel terrible because you haven't even started. Start with this list and concentrate on the strategies that apply to you if you're looking for practical ways to overcome procrastination. To truly break free in the future, it's also best to identify the underlying causes of your procrastination and what you can do to address them. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!